you know, we, we, people of color, we have to learn to talk to each other better. We have to learn our histories of each other. We have to figure out a different way of doing things. So, so this is this kid. <sighs> Lupe. Lupe's my man. Kick, push, kick, push. That's me. But you know, as much as I got mad love for Lupe, it ain't really like that. I mean, I wish it was, but it ain't. And it's not because my girl rolls, because she don't, or that she don't like my doing my thing, because she does. But it ain't always that easy, you know what I'm saying? I, I was taking the train to the Mall of America, going to buy me some tight shoes at Zoomies. I'm just minding my own business, my board on my lap. Up on the Cedar Station, this Somali girl gets on. And she's cute, but I don't pay much attention because she's got her head wrapped up in one of those scarves. It's like she's saying there's no playing, you know what I mean? And I respect that. I mean, there's plenty of others around, you know, each to his own, each to his own. But a little while, these two black girls beside her, they start in on her. First just sniggering and pointing at her like there's something funny about her. Of course, it bothers me, but I try to pay it, no mind. But then... They start calling her a dirty Somali. <laughs> Tell her she should go back where she came from. They don't want no terrorists in this country. She should go back to Africa, back to where the monkeys are. I look at the <laughs> Somali girl. She don't look at me. Got her eyes straight ahead like if she just kept looking straight, she wouldn't hear. And I look around because there's adults on the train. Some white, some black, a couple of native kids way back. I keep waiting for one of the adults to say something, but they just keep looking where they're looking like it ain't happening. Like they're the ones who don't hear nothing. And two black girls are calling the Somali girl a monkey now, making monkey sounds and laughing their asses off like they're having the time of their lives. And I'm thinking, shit, shit, man. But then the tall black girl gets all up in her face shouting, go back to your motherfucking country, bitch. We don't want you here. And I know. I just know the next thing, she's going to hit that Somali girl. Fuck it, here goes. Hey, hey, leave her alone. They both turn and look at me like, who the fuck do you think you are? And one of them says, fuck you, chink boy, mind your own business. Yeah, chink boy, the other says, why don't you go back where you came from too? And I'm thinking, oh shit, you think Full Day was just going to back off? What the fuck are you going to do now? So I say, Chink boy, chink boy, what, that's supposed to hurt me? You're calling me a chink, a piece of a wall? I'm wondering if they know gook or slope, because that's what's coming next. Fuck you, ching chong Chinaman. Oh, ching chong, forgot about that one. <laughs> so, you're saying I'm a gong, a musical instrument. I can tell they're both really still pissed, but they're also thinking I'm a little loony, <laughs> which I guess I am. Or you can call me a slope, but really, we don't walk like this. And here I get up and start walking like I'm walking on the side of the hill. They're both looking at me like I'm nuts. I take a glance at the Somali girl. She looks a little relieved, but also like I'm nuts, too. <laughs> Fuck you, you crazy retard. Actually, we Asians are supposed to be quite smart. I mean, ain't that the stereotype? The tall one stands up and glares at me. And I'm wondering if she's going to come at me. I'm not much taller than her, and the other one's kind of heavy and definitely outweighs me. I look out to the side and see if any of the adults are going to do anything, but they're all just sitting there just like before, like a bunch of monkeys, see nothing, do nothing. And for some reason, this really pisses me off. So I raise my board and step forward. But you know, the other stereotype is that we know Kung Fu. <laughs> And I guess you're going to have to decide right now whether that stereotype is true, but fuck it, it's your dice, roll them. Sit your fucking ass down, says the heavyset one. All right, I say, and I plop right down next to the Somali girl. You want to insult us? Go right ahead, you ignorant motherfuckers. But now the train's coming to the next station. You want to get off here? I ask the Somali girl, and she nods. We both get off. And that, that's how I met my girl. Sometimes I still wonder if I would have done the same thing if it had been two dudes. I'd like to think I would have, but 
I don't know. Oh, yeah, and it would have been nice if everything turned out fine for me and Yasmin. And for a while, for a while it was. I go down to that park near the hospital downtown. They got a little skate park there, pretty rinkety, but it gave me something to do while I waited for her. And, and we just hang out and talk and talk and talk. <laughs> I know. It's not like we come from the same world. She's Muslim, I'm half Filipino, half Chinese, a real mongrel. And I don't even believe in God, though, though if there is a God, I'm glad he made her, because there's no one like her. I mean, she sees I'm cool, you know? Especially on my board, and I did do my own little Jet Li thing for her that day, even if I don't know Kung Fu. But I got this sensitive side, like Lupe, I'm no gangster. And she sees that too. Some girls, they'd be like, oh, guys are such dogs. But if you're nice, if you're too nice, they think you're weak. You don't got game. But Yasmin, she ain't like that. She gets me, you know? Only then, then one of her brothers found out about us, saw us in the park. And he lied about what we were doing together, just plain lied. And now her dad's got her shut up, won't ever let her go out alone, ever, even to the park. All we can do is talk on the phone, and only when her dad or brothers ain't around. And I mean, it's not like I even touched her. I know what it means to be a Somali girl. I, I know that. And at first I thought that'd make it, make, it, make it all right with her old man. Can't you tell him we're cool? I'm cool, I told her. I wouldn't do nothing to disrespect him or you. But she said, it don't matter. I'm not Somali. I'm not Muslim. And that's that. It ain't fair, I say to her. It ain't fair. I, I just want to see you. But I can't, she says. And that's that. I know, I know. I'm only 15. So how could I say I found the love of my life? But this is real, you know. <laughs> and sometimes I wish I, I didn't feel like this. I'm not ready for it. But I look inside and there it is. And I, I just know it's something special, how easy it is for us to talk to each other, how comfortable I feel with her. And how can that be wrong? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> the world, the world is a fucked up place, man. I feel like my heart's breaking every day, every day. Sometimes I even think, those black girls in the train, they were right, you know? Oh, well, not about the way they treated her that day. That's just plain ignorant, but maybe you're not supposed to cross those lines. Maybe you can't cross those lines. So I just sit here in the park listening to Lupe, thinking she's going to come walking down the street just like she used to, as if things really were like his songs.